to be honest, I was going to ask you about this, and I saw it in the prep this morning. There is two privatized companies that are planning on going to uh, the the moon. That's correct, Michael. For what is what the answer? Is. I didn't read the article, but I want to know. Like, like I remember George Bush, the second one, the son said it was going to be a priority to go to the moon, and I went, "Why? We already been to the moon. What are we doing yeah. there?" And and I didn't really understand at the time what we could be doing. And then he never got there. And then no other president after him was able to get there. If we went to the moon for reals, mm -hmm. why aren't we doing like junkets back and forth? Well, and, and are we, though? Is there that whole village up there that, on the other side? So they say, yes, we have been going to and fro from the moon, but we just haven't well, been telling anybody. We don't know half the time what the space shuttle did. Correct. It was like every other. What used to be in the 80s when the space shuttle took off, it was a big thing. Everybody mm -hmm. gathered around the TV and we watched the space shuttle, especially after the one blew up. Mm hmm. And uh, my whole theory when I was, I don't know what year that was, but I had to be like in, in like maybe a eighth grade, freshman in high school, 14 or so. My theory was that they blew it up on purpose because people weren't paying attention to the space shuttle anymore. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I, thought, theory. I thought they need like Apollo 13. By the time the Apollo 13 went up, nobody cared. Yeah. There had been, so been 12 before it, and they were like, yeah, big deal. It's just floating around space. So uh, uh, once this one, once 13 went up and it had the problems, the whole world started watching again. So I thought this was a marketing thing. They killed all mm -hmm. seven of those astronauts yeah. just to get people to 100%. pay attention. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, if we really went to the moon, why haven't we been back publicly? And uh, if we have been going there, why so secret? So I, not only did we never go back, but we also lost all the data that we collected from building the spaceships to going there so that's what do you mean even, we lost it they lost it even NASA i can said, recover stuff from my iCloud. the official, it was all handwritten <laughs> yeah the the story was is well there was a couple stories first they lost it when they switched data from like the old tape data to digital okay. and then they said that one of the interns ended up with the tapes and sold it at a garage sale which i find <laughs> to be one of the best stories uh, ever in well, American history. I heard that about a sex tape one. Yeah, so um, the what they're saying is that now they want companies, privatized companies, to go because it's going to be much more cost-effective for the government. They can probably do more stuff in secret now because everybody's focusing on these companies instead of looking at NASA and what NASA's doing. Because if you remember uh, last year... But, but let me ask you this question yes. real quick. If, if there is, like, I've seen the video where on the dark side of the moon, mm -hmm. the side we don't see, there is supposedly like this huge uh, city over yeah. there, um, which I would imagine is not, uh, you know, habitable. It's probably just a working mm -hmm. city, like a power plant or something. But um, it, it, are they not afraid that the private companies will see everything all of a sudden? So that the conspiracy theory is that the private companies have been working with uh, the, the, yeah, mm -hmm. the whole time. And now they're just finally saying. We also would like to build our own technology to have to go into space. You should stop saying conspiracy theories and just say theories. Yeah, it's pretty conspiracy wild. Conspiracy theories sound like uh, it's really far fetched. Theories sound yeah. more legit. Yeah. Well, and what's even more interesting is you have the whole like energy race around the world, and more companies are building mini nuclear reactors. So right. you'll probably see a lot more companies than just these two in the next five to ten years saying they want to go to space and the moon. I feel like we're behind on the schedule. Uh, it feels like it. Yeah, especially because they've been talking about space hotels for 30 years now. Yeah. You know? I, I always I always think like um like like a Morgan Freeman type presidency where they get on, they're gonna be like, uh, we have an asteroid coming, but don't worry, we have building a defense shield. But yeah, like I feel like something's gonna happen one day where they're gonna be like We've had to keep it a secret from public for the last 50 years. Mm -hmm. So We've you're saying it's possible that the government has stuff that we don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just don't know. I like it's weird. It's weird to say, like, we've been in constant communication with aliens. You don't want to say that because you're going to freak every religion mm -hmm. out and people are going to be like, I damn Scientologists were right. Everybody's mm -hmm. going to have a heart attack. What's that? What's the um, harm in saying for the past 50 years we've been uh, operating on the moon to help? You know, like, oh, yeah. why didn't you tell us? That would what, be nice. What do we need to know? The fact that is, as soon as Trump got in office, he created Space Force. Yeah. That tells me everything I need to know. Mm. Yeah, that's what I said. I, I, he saw an immediate threat. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, and he went Space Force. And silly as it sounded, he was like, "You don't understand. <laughs> this is what we need." That, I was reading some stuff about uh, Elon Musk, and the rumor is that he started Space Force because Elon Musk just kept putting so many satellites around Earth that were completely surrounded by his private satellites, and that was a big thing where Trump was like, "We can't have a private company." surrounding the entire globe with their own satellites. We have no idea what they're doing. Did I, you see what Elon's doing now? Yeah. He, all the Starlink satellites are being turned on for cell service to mm -hmm. connect your phone. So now you can be globally tracked at any time by your mm -hmm. phone. Listen to me. 
I went on a cruise and uh, I was downloading pictures in the middle of the ocean with the speed of being in my oh, home. Yeah, Take great. my privacy. I don't need uh, it. Just send me packages in two days and give me internet everywhere. That's all I need to know. 